Katniss PK says she is not a fighter, but she's discovering that she's pretty good at it because a court case that she's been involved in for almost five years tomorrow heads to this building, the Connecticut Supreme Court. Tranquility, peace. It's been a long battle. And Elise PK questions today. whether her late husband has found it in their backyard paradise. It's a pointless thing. He's just a bundle of bones now. Why not just let him rest in peace? Christopher Dahl passed away in 2004. Or he's right here. Right here. Okay. But I haven't put a stone up because I'm still fighting him. Elise believes she found the perfect spot for her soulmate, a Chester Garden of Eden, where a visit was never more than a few steps away. I used to sit on the bench and talk to him. The town took issue with that, telling her burials aren't allowed on residential property and Christopher must be moved. But with four Chester cemeteries full, Elise made the decision to fight, to sue. I'm not really a fighter by nature. I have to be goaded like a bull. But then, like the bull, watch out. <laughs> For better or for worse, an oath Elise feels so strongly about, she's taking her case before Connecticut's highest court. Do her idea of paradise is worth fighting for, even when some no longer have a voice. Never. You don't regret doing this? Oh, I don't regret it at all. Chester's town attorney says the fact that PK's husband is buried on her property violates state health code and it goes against zoning regulations of the town. Now, arguments at the Connecticut Supreme Court start at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Elise says that if she loses the case here, she wants to keep going all the way to the United States Supreme Court. On the scene in Hartford, I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.